Are you still planning your drone photogrammetry missions like this? What if I told you there's a better way of doing that? We have developed a new tool called Circlegrammetry, which allows you to scan an area using circles. With doing this, the drone flies in circles and captures the objects on the ground from a lot of different angles, allowing you to capture a lot more detail compared to standard surveys. In our last video, we already showed you the results of scanning a laser tag polygon using two methods. One, using circle gram tree method in EGCS, and also using the standard oblique mission found in DJI Pilot 2. And today, I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide to planning circle gram tree missions within EGCS. Let's get started. And so now, here we are already inside of EGCS. Let's start by creating a new route. So just click here on create a new route, then click on next. Let's select the drone's profile. In this case, I'll be using the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. And let's click on done. Now, in this list of tools, we can just select the circle grammetry tool that's located over here. And now let's mark out the area which we want to survey. So now let's just put down the points on the map around this area. And now you can see the circle grammetry mission has been calculated initially. And now let's go through all the parameters we have for this mission. So firstly, you can see we have the camera. Currently, we have selected the wide camera of the Mavic 3 Enterprise drone for this mission. Depending on what drone you will be using, this camera will change. So the flight height will usually set based on what result you want to get, what resolution images you want to get, as well as the obstacles around the area. But this area, I believe, will allow us to fly at 30 meter altitude. And next, there's the flight speed. By default, the flight speed will be set to 5 meters. But I would recommend setting it just a bit faster so the drone can cover the area in less amount of time. So let's set the uh, flight speed to 10 meters per second. And next is a circle radius. Now, depending on the radius you'll be using, you can actually control whether you will collect more data or less data over the whole area. And also, this radius parameter will affect the overall flight time of the drone. Usually, using a higher circle radius will result in less dense data coverage, but it will also give you less flight time over the whole area. So for smaller areas, I would recommend using a smaller radius, whereas for larger areas, it's maybe best to use larger radius if you don't have very small objects on the ground that you want to scan. So in this case, let's use a radius of 30 meters, but I can just demonstrate how the whole mission changes when we, for example, change this radius to 50 meters. And if you want to see the total flight time of this mission, you can click up here on the elevation profile. Now you can see that with the radius of 50 meters, the total estimated duration of this flight is 9 minutes and 40 seconds. But now let's change the radius back to 30 meters just to be able to get a bit more dense coverage over the whole area. Now the next parameter is the shots per circle. So typically this is calculated automatically based on the camera parameters as well as some other things like the flight speed. If we open up the root log located here, you can see how many circles are in this mission in total, how many shots will the drone take at each of the circles, and how many shots will be taken in total. The next parameter is the camera angle. By default, this value will be set to 45 degrees. However, you can also change this based on what kind of results do you want to get and what area you are scanning. For example, for an area like this, where you can also see there's a lot of detail here on the roof, I would maybe set this to a slightly higher value, which means that the camera will be more tilted towards the ground. For example, we can now change this camera angle to 70 degrees. Next parameter is the circle overlap percentage. As the name implies, this parameter controls the overlap between two consecutive circles. I would recommend using the default value of 50%, because this will ensure correct data overlap over the whole area. However, in certain cases, you might want to increase or decrease this value. For example, if I was to set the circle overlap to 25%, you can now see how this mission looks like. But now let's change it back to 50%. And last but not least, there's also the altitude mode. So by default, this will be set to AJL altitude. But alternatively, if you want the mission to be on a straight line, then you can also change this to AMSL altitude. So the circle gram mission in GCS allows you to change how much data you want to gather over any given area. Now let's open up the root log like before. And so here again, you can see the total number of shots. You can see the number of shots per circle is currently at 18. However, this value you can actually change just by changing this shots per circle parameter. For example, you can change this to 10 and then only 10 shots will be taken per a given circle. 
And if you want to change this shots per circle parameter back to the default, then simply delete this value and then you can see it's set back to automatic. All right, now once we're done with the planning part, let's get into flying. So you can see here in front of me, I have the DJI Mavic 3 Enterprise drone. Let's start by turning it on. And now on the remote controller, make sure you have your GCS companion app installed and once the drone connects, you will be able to see the camera feed from the drone. Next step is make sure you have both the remote controller and your computer connected to the same Wi-Fi network. You can press here in the top left corner and make sure that you have the correct computer selected. If everything is okay, you should see a green circle next to the UGCS icon. Now you can also see the drone has connected to UGCS. Let's start by putting the drone in a simulator mode. And now we can turn on the simulator. Here, make sure you enter the location where you will be flying. And now, once that step is done, you should see the drone appear on the map near your currently active route. And now we can start by uploading the route to the drone. And now, once the route has been successfully uploaded, you will be able to see the route on the remote controller's screen as well. And now you can start the route, either from the remote controller or from the computer. Now let's press here on Start and then Confirm Start. And now you can see the drone is already taking off and will start flying to the first waypoint. And once it has reached its first waypoint, you will see that the camera will be pointing down exactly the angle that you have set and the drone will start flying in circles throughout this whole area. I hope this video was useful for you. And if you want to try out circle geometry for yourself, make sure to take the free UGCS trial, link down in the description below, and try it out for yourself. And if you're interested in seeing more content about drone surveying, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and follow for more videos. See you in the next one. Bye.